and we're back here on the show and uh, here at Gillardi Fest where we're having a really great time talking to some of the people and some of the cast and uh, just a lot of the people that have something to do with the Big Chuck Lewis. Now I'm here with Big Stosh. Now there's a reason we're doing this sitting down uh, and I'm going to show you. Stand up for a second here. This is the reason that we're sitting down. We're a little bit more even that way. Big Stosh here. Okay, well, I'll have a seat here for a second. Can you, uh, how did you get to connect with Big Chuck? Well, it was through Dick Goddard. He introduced me to Big Chuck years ago. And uh, I had played industrial basketball with him down in the uh, league down in Canton. Mm -hmm. And uh, then uh, when I heard he was going up to, uh, you know, be on TV and yeah, I stopped by to see him up there, and uh, he introduced me to Big Chuck. And so, so they got you there for the uh, for the All Stars. Is that why he wanted to get? Yeah, you? It was a thing where Dick told me. He said you, he said you're supposed to work for Channel Eight, but he said, uh, you know, we'll say you're one of the technicians or something. And and then I uh, started playing on the All Stars, and then the next week Chuck called me up and he said. I want you to do this bit, you know. And so I went down there, and he told me what to wear. And so, so which one was the the first bit that you did? Here comes Big Stosh. Here comes Big Stosh. And so he, you know, I'm the monster that Big Chuck created, and, and uh, it's been you know a long time, like you know, 50 years, and still at it, and I uh, just love every minute of it. No, no. Uh, uh, do you have a, a favorite bit that you've done? I know that most everybody's favorite is. Uh, the half a head of lettuce. Is uh, do you have a, a favorite that you've done? A lot of times the favorites aren't the ones that everyone remembers. Well, half a head of lettuce was my favorite too. Uh, that was just you were so imposing, especially you know as tall as you were to me. And, you know, you, you, little John there. Uh, it just is so overpowering and absolutely hilarious when you were just standing here all stone faced asking for a half a head of lettuce. And you know, it's just great. You know, all the years that have gone by since we've done it. Uh, I think it was like in 1970 when we did it, mm -hmm. and to this day I still have people uh, that come up to me in the street, and they'll they know every word of that bit, and they'll repeat it for me, and then they'll laugh, you know. So, a half a head of lettuce? Are you sure you don't want a real a whole head? <laughs> and this fine gentleman. <laughs> and yes. Yeah. So they serve, and uh, but there were so many of them. The best part about uh, doing the bits with uh, with Big Chuck. It was, uh, we never had any rehearsals, and uh, you never knew what you were going to do until you, you did, went to the studio or on location oh, someplace. So you didn't have a script ahead of time or anything, you just showed up. And he'd just tell you what to wear. And like one time he told me, he said, can you go down to Chippewa Lake? And I said, you know, sure. And, he, and I said, what should I wear? And he said, your bathing suit. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so... And then he had his boat down there when I got down there and everything else, and uh, so he had this blanket for me to put on, and then uh, I had a uh, Indian peace pipe plus a big headdress, and I uh, started off to the dock on my skis, and then uh, he had the cameraman right there, and and he got he got the boat slowed down as slow as he could and still keep me on top of the water, and. Uh, they took my, you know, pictures of me skiing, and, and there was no wake. It was beautiful, you know. So then when I finally saw the bit, here, here was this one canoe full of uh, Indians, you know, paddling away, and, and they're yelling, and they're paddling away, and then it, it goes back to a rope that went down, you know, back to this other canoe. And this other canoe, and they're all paddling, and they're yelling, and then the rope went back to another canoe, and they're all yelling and paddling, and then finally the rope goes out, and there I am on the water ski. So, so, yeah. He wasn't expecting that, was he? But, uh, you know, there's a thing where, he, you know, once you got there, he'd tell you what the bit was. Uh -huh. And we only we only took one take, like, you know. And, and he believed in things being, uh, you know, Chuck, you know, wrote 2,500 bits over the years. Yeah, and uh, unbelievable. But his thing was, you know, the idea of doing it once and instant, uh, you know, response and everything else. And it was beautiful. And, and you, you still come back here? I think I've seen every Gilardi Fest that I've, that I've been to. Right. Yeah, I love. You're, like, you're like Bob Wells. This is just like a, like returning the, the the pigeons returning to Capistrano. Well, Bob Wells, he really deserves an award of some type. If you can imagine, it was a couple of years back there where he had open heart surgery. Right. He came that. It was what three weeks after his open heart. Right. Surgery. It was unbelievable. You know, one thing I said to Chuck, I said, you know, Chuck, I said, you want to get a tag, you know, for Huli, and I said uh, that says, please do not hug. 
and uh, he did. He had a, uh, this tag made with a chain around his neck and everything else, and it would, people would come to him. You know, they wouldn't give him a, right. a crushing right. hello. So, because after all these years, everybody was looked in the cast and did the bits. Even even uh, 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 Houlihan told me once. He's, he's been so long since he's done the show, yet he gets so much gratitude from from people coming to say, hey I, I love what you've done and now i get to share it with with my kids and my grandkids right and it's the thing where you know uh, we all loved every minute of it you know and uh and we're you know, like we're sorry that the all-star games are by we played you know uh, we played our last game and chuck and i were uh, he was 67 and i was 66 and so but uh you know, you hate to see things come to an end, but then if you could still uh, kind of stir them up every year, that's a good. And I'm, and I'm glad that Chuck still has his show every week. Uh, yeah. But but in all of our hearts, you guys are always all stars, and you're always gonna always gonna be there, and always being able to with the internet and everything out there, you're always gonna be able to. Well, so we thank you for that. Thank, well, thank you so much, and uh, we're gonna get back to the show. Thank you.